Here in front of me today, I have the DJI Power 1000 version 2 and the DJI Power 2000 lithium battery units. Now I just finished filming a video on the Power 2000, so I'll focus mostly on the 1000 version 2 today, and then I'll give a little bit of a buying guide so that you can choose which one of these units best suits your needs. Now just as a background on DJI, if you haven't heard of them before, they are the ones who make these state-of-the-art drones. They also do a bunch of accessories and cameras. Ange and I have been using their products for about six years now. Okay, so let's focus on the 1000 version 2. As it says in its name, this is the second iteration of the 1000. It has a 1024 watt battery capacity with a built-in inverter of 2600 watts. Now that's a true power output inverter, so it'll give you that 2600 watts all the way from 100% battery to 0% battery. Now the Power 1000 V2 has been designed for people that have off-grid electricity needs uh, in a recreation kind of a format. So uh, people doing car camping, overlanding, uh, road trips. It would also be a really good solution if you want to take it to a beach or a family picnic. And it would also work well at home as an emergency backup power supply. So that 2600 watt inverter is going to power the majority of the appliances that you're going to need in your off-grid sort of recreational outdoor use. So things like your induction cooktop, a coffee machine, uh, an air fryer, as well as charging batteries, laptops, uh, tablets, anything like that. Now it has two AC ports on the front for running or charging appliances, two USB-A ports, and also two high power USB-C ports. Now they're at 140 watts, so you're actually going to charge things like laptops or camera batteries really, really fast. So the unit itself also has a really fast recharge. So plugged into AC, you can charge from 0% to 100% in just 56 minutes. As well as if you pair it with one of DJI's super fast car and or solar chargers, you can charge it via solar and hardwired into your car batteries as well. Now the inbuilt battery capacity of 1024 watt hours, that you can actually use DJI's expandable battery system to increase that by up to five more batteries of that same size. Now the Power 1000 V2 has a bunch of upgraded safety features. So firstly the rugged sort of design uh, exterior case can actually handle a static load of up to one ton. So if you have this bouncing around in the back of your vehicle or your truck, uh, or stacking things on it, you don't have to worry about it breaking in terms of that. Also the internals inside can handle things like earthquakes and a lot of bumpy roads and corrugations, so it does even work really well in kind of an off-road sense. The LFP battery cells retain up to 80% capacity after 4,000 charge cycles. So that's got like a lifespan of something like 10 years. The two SDC ports here on the front enable you to charge your drone batteries incredibly quickly as well as being able to recharge the unit from solar and the super fast car charger. The Power 1000 V2 recharges really quietly at only 26 decibels. So you can have this unit inside quite a small vehicle and not be worried about it keeping you awake at night. That's operating at just roughly the same as your normal standard household appliances. Now in terms of using this as an emergency at home power supply, if this unit is turned on and plugged into grid power and your appliance that you're working on is also plugged into grid power and into this, if the grid goes out, the UPS, the uninterruptible power supply, will mean that that device will continue to operate without any interruption at all in the event of a power grid failure. Okay, so that sort of covers the majority of the specifications of the Power 1000 V2. Now let's compare that with the Power 2000. The Power 2000, as in its name, is double the capacity of the 1000 V2. So it's at 2048 watt hours of capacity. It also has a more powerful built-in inverter of 3000 watts. So this can run much more demanding appliances, say for instance an induction cooktop of two hobs uh, or even a small oven. But now of course that makes the unit larger and heavier, so it's now less portable. For instance, you might not want to take this to the park or to a small uh, family event, whereas the 1000 V2 would be perfect for that with how lightweight and portable it is. 
The Power 2000 also has twice as many ports. So we've got two more AC outlet ports, two more USB-C ports, and two more USB-A ports. So you can be simultaneously running and charging much more devices with the Power 2000. I think where the Power 1000 V2 really shines is for people like your outdoor photographers or videographers, uh, those going on a short one or two day camping trip, uh, even a small road trip, and like I said, uh, taking it to the beach or some sort of family event. That small portability of it makes it a really good solution. Whereas your Power 2000, I think that's better for your multi-day camping trips or having it hard mounted into your 4x4 or RV because it's heavier and bulkier if you have this tucked away and hard mounted using DJI super fast car and solar charger that becomes an awesome solution you can of course also increase the capacity of this unit if you wanted to uh, up to I think 10 times more uh, battery storage which is very impressive due to that higher capacity the Power 2000 is also just such a good solution for your at-home emergency sort of off-grid power solution as well. Now I hope that has answered some of your questions and gave you a little bit of a buying guide between the 1000 V2 and the Power 2000. Uh, for us, for Ange and I and our sort of setup, we would always choose the higher capacity unit, the 2000, and we would have that hard mounted into our vehicle to make that the best solution for our sort of overlanding camping family needs.